the Tom Brady roast was last night on Netflix live. I'm sure you can watch it anytime, of course, on Netflix. Everyone's saying, and I haven't seen it, but I've heard the audio of one joke. Everybody's saying he had an issue, Brady, with one joke. And that if you look at his face, this wasn't him just messing around. He really didn't appreciate this joke. But I thought it was, I mean, as far as roasts go, I thought it was certainly uh, passable. I will say of of some of the stuff I've seen and read, Mm -hmm. this is the one? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll tell you, the butt of the joke is Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots. Okay. And those two are tight. I think it was always, I think the idea is now that it was always sort of Kraft- protected Brady from Belichick who wanted to get rid of Brady long before Brady left the Patriots. And I think those two have a real bond. Jeff Ross made the joke about Robert Kraft and Tom Brady told him to knock it off. So Tom became a Patriot, moved up to New England. And on the first day of training camp, that scrawny rookie famously walked into the owner Robert Kraft's office and said, I'm the best decision your organization has ever made. Would you like a massage? <laughs> I love Robert Kraft. I say love that again. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's having fun. Look at him. Mm, Brady said, "Don't say that crap again." <laughs> and I, I, I thought that was just a joke, but yeah, people man. say on his face he was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. that, that's one too far." Yeah, I think those two are really tight. He said horrible things about him. <laughs> yeah, his family. Yeah, he didn't care. He didn't care. That right. was fine. All about that. How many people? That does sound like a big crowd. Yeah, apparently. Huge. Where was the audience? Where was the event? Well, I don't even know. My understanding was in like an arena, I believe. Was it? That big? Yeah. Well, they had a ton of big names there, as you can imagine. One person who's getting a lot of accolades for his jokes, and I'm sure they were written for him, was Peyton Manning, who uh, worked clean. Some worked a little blue. That's what you expect at a roast, typically. Yeah, but Peyton Manning... I think Peyton Manning is so into his image that he would not do any really dirty stuff. So he told a few jokes about Brady. It is great to be here with a bunch of people sitting around talking smack about Tom Brady. Or as we call that in the Manning family, Thanksgiving. (laughs) One thing that Tom and I definitely have in common, though, is our love of the game of golf. And listen, not to brag, we're both pretty good players. My handicap is a 6.4, while Tom's handicap is blowing leads to the Super Bowl to my brother Eli. (laughs) The last time Tom Brady had to wait this long to get on stage, it was the 2000 NFL Draft. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I like it. I like it. Good work. I thought it was good. Good clean jokes. Yep. (laughs) Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what, folks? You don't have to work blue. That's right. I have a problem sometimes with my uh, podcast partner, B.B. Shea. He works a little blue. He does. And oh, really? I never do. I always just uh, 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 I draw the line. Uh, He'll drop an S word in. He will. On any podcast. I, I've, I've seen him drop an S and an F word in. And I, I look at him like, was that really necessary here? And he's like, we're podcasting now, man. You know, There's no rules. And I said, uh, True. This is no man's land. No. <laughs> is it? Maybe that's a podcast topic. <laughs> Should we or should we not? You know, boy, I listen to this though. I'll tell you, I listen to a lot of Bill Burr podcasts over the weekend, and uh, he works a little blue on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, on, yes, he does. On the in the podcast game, he'll. Uh, but he was a prince uh, on the oh, air. wonderful. You know, on the phone mm-hmm. with us, he he knows what oh, he's, he's doing. a pro. Oh, of course, he's yeah. a pro, of course. absolute pro. He. The interview is coming up in thirty minutes. You can judge it for yourself. We talked with him on Friday. We're playing it back today. Uh, he was talking about too. I thought this was interesting about. Um, when the crowd gets burr? on, yeah, burr. When it, when it doesn't work, when the joke doesn't work, and he's like, you know, I've been doing it so long now. When I bomb, it's just okay. You know, he mm-hmm. does, he doesn't just mind. Keeps going, yeah. Just keeps on going. Uh, Tom Brady got back at Manning once he took the stage. Baden, I know sometimes you live in Denver, and sometimes you live in Louisiana, but you'll always live in my shadow. <laughs> When I heard there was a slow white Bronco heading down the 405 to come here tonight, I thought we might actually see a real football legend. <laughs> that would have worked. I think that would have worked better like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's well, when they wrote it. I bet they wrote that a month ago, you know. Well, you know, I read he um, did a lot of his own writing. Brady? Right? Uh-huh. And he actually, yeah, he did have people help him, mm-hmm. but he actually bounced a lot of it off of his soon to be a. Uh, Fox Sports co-hosts. 
Oh, uh, really? And uh, people at Fox Sports mm -hmm. who were, you know, could kind of help them yeah. punch it up. So, yeah, so those jokes were probably written when OJ died. Was uh, B.B. Shea telling, was he on our air? I can't remember. I have so many interactions with him. He doesn't think Brady will work on uh, television. He thinks he won't mm. be any good at that job. But uh, he's pretty good. I, I think he's, I mean, he's funny at least. Yeah. You know? uh, but at least B.B. Shea doesn't think he'll last very long as a Fox Sports commentator. Then Belichick came up. Ron Burgundy, the only member of the media I respect. <laughs> you know, the fellows invited me up here to lighten up the mood a little bit tonight. <laughs> a lot of mean things being said about Tom tonight. I wonder why they invited me. Really, Tom, why are all these people so hard on you? Do you miss me? A lot of people connected me with a saying called do your job and telling people to do their job and Gronk. Gronk, I've been watching you on Fox NFL Sunday and I'm begging you, please, stop doing your job. <laughs> but believe it or not, I've got a lot of nice things to say about Tom, but I'm running out of time here. Um, <laughs> see your uh, soccer team Birmingham City got knocked down to another tier in the uh, English Football League so they suck <laughs> not so easy running a team is it Tom <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say that he's very very funny you know once he got mm -hmm. out of that and he got the gr after the grind after the yeah and he got accolades for his draft coverage remember mm -hmm. then uh brady got to come on stage himself and uh, well before that though well, he's always the, la the, the, the last the is always the last. last before that was uh kim kardashian she was booed uh by the crown by the large yeah. crown. Mm -hmm. i don't care for that um i don't know the older I get, the the less I want to see people. It's almost through. always one person, though, at, at a roast who's the least popular. <laughs> it's like, what is that person doing there? Well, it was Kim. That yeah. one, it was Kim Kardashian at the Brady roast. Apparently, it's like when the um, when that remarkable Kentucky Derby was run this weekend, where it was a photo finish. Really, three horses right there within an inch of the finish line at the same time. I felt so badly for the other two horses, you know, that didn't win. <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one that feels this yeah, way? Probably. Yeah, probably. I mean, probably. I just felt to myself, I just love all these horses, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't. When I watch that now, I'm just like, oh, mm -hmm. some of them have to lose, and two of them in such heartbreaking fashion. Do you think, uh, this is off, a little off, do you think we'll ever see a triple crown winner again? Because they're already saying Kentucky Derby winner is getting pulled. Yeah, we just saw one two or three years ago. From the, I mean, but now it seems like in the last couple, they pulled the, the horses. I do think we will, because for a long time, I mean, it, went, it took them... 35, 40 years yeah. to get one. I do. I think they'll. Uh, I, I, I do believe eventually. In fact. I just always thought it was known that you run all three. But it's like already the mm -hmm. Kentucky Derby winner they're saying won't run the Preakness. I don't know why they do that. But yeah. I think it's just to save them for stud. I guess. It because, makes so much money. Because most most horses, it's very hard to run at that level mm -hmm. two weeks apart. Uh, yeah. From, from what I hear. That's why the Kentucky, the uh, it's so hard. The Triple Crown <laughs> is so difficult to get. I feel like we will. I mean, we've had two this decade, but sometimes they don't let them run again. I it's just the way I always feel like, oh no, we got two that just barely lost hmm. there, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when my wife, when they interviewed the jockey and said, What a remarkable run you had. She said she stood up, screamed, What about the horse? The horse is <laughs> She's the horse, right. The horse never that, it's, it's the horse that should get the credit. You treat them just like animals. <laughs> of course they are. They, they are. Just have to bite your tongue. Yeah. They are animals. I just sat and yes and bit my tongue. Here's Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, when she was roasting Tom Brady the other night. Thank you so much, Kevin. Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. She was, all right. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. That's Kevin Hart saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of Tom and I dating, I know there were some rumors that we were, and I'd never say if we did or not. I just released the tape. <laughs> um, but I do know it would never work out. An ex-athlete, high cheekbones, silky hair. You remind me too much of my stepdad now. <laughs> Part of me thinks you would want to undress me just to try on my clothes. 
Honestly, it's hard for me to watch people roast you, but I think enough of my family members have helped defend former football players. Another OJ reference. Mm. Yep. And the uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Yes. Mm-hmm. For a minute, I wasn't Are sure. Are you puckering? I, well, I wasn't sure who her stepfather was. I was like, yeah. <laughs> who is? Because I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. At first, I was like, is that OJ? No, it's not no, OJ. It's not OJ. Yeah. Now, it's Bruce, now Caitlyn Jenner. That's right. And inevitably today, somebody will track down Caitlyn Jenner for her <laughs> reaction. Hot <laughs> heart. <laughs> Caitlyn, you hear what Kim said? <laughs> <laughs> without give it to tmz already oh yeah they'll i'm yeah. sure they'll do that chase her down at a golf course and then uh <laughs> brady finally got to get on stage and he talked about kim kardashian kim kardashian thank you so much for being here i know kim was terrified to be here tonight not because of this but because her kids are home with their dad And then I had to stop and think, no, who's, oh. who's that? it's Kanye. It's, isn't it? It's Kanye, right? Because mm-hmm. I oh, never yeah. know that. I don't, I don't know that Kardashian mm-hmm. dynamic. The family yeah. tree. So, yeah, so when they were doing jokes about her family, it's like, okay, let me have who's to who? said, yeah. Yeah. Kanye West is mm-hmm. the dad of the kids. I did read, uh, if you're going to watch one comedian, Nikki Glaser, apparently, had that, a she's phenomenal the one? She's fantastic. performance. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's mm-hmm. great at roasting. She's right. a great comic. Yeah. So if you're going to watch just one part of the roast... Watch a little yeah. Nikki Glazer on the yeah. Netflix Tom Brady roast. I okay. did see a quick highlight of her. She makes a good joke about Gronk and crypto. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Saying, because uh, she's like, you know, you lost 30. She's looking at Brady. She's like, you lost 30 million in, uh, in crypto. And uh, she's like, even Gronk is like, me no, not real money. <laughs> 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 Apparently, Kevin Hart then s- steps up and says, what makes that better is that he was sitting next to Gronk. And <laughs> apparently, Gronk leaned over and said, I didn't know it wasn't real money. <laughs> He's like, you're not helping. <laughs> Don't help the joke. <laughs> I could never be part of a roast period. No. I could never be part. Oh my god, uh, there's no. I could even sit in an audience. For, yeah, I mean the rules are they're, they're pretty cut and dry. Even if you're on the dais, mm-hmm. you have to you take shot at everybody. Oh uh, no, sir. Typically, I couldn't be out there for one second, and it's been going on forever. Now. What if you what if you what if you change the game? Mm. Soft, gentle roast. I like that. Yeah. Slow roast. Listen, would, a, slow, a, slow a slow roast. roast. <laughs> mm-hmm. A rotisserie. Let's do that. Let's do a rotisserie. Look who was late for work today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exa- yeah. thank you. Exactly. Somebody I, parked I Chris- in the spot again. <laughs> <laughs> one time Chris Kelly hit the snack machine and got two snacks and only paid for one. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is the kind of yeah. This is the kind of roasting. This is the material you are comfortable yes, with. Yes, just something mm-hmm. very, very light. Where guess, guess you can't operate the copier. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would lay down. It's true. I cannot. Uh, he's yeah, right. I can't. I, I can't operate the copier. That's that's a fact. 